Have you ever wondered why those pesky white flakes keep appearing on your shoulders? It's a question that's crossed most of our minds at some point. Welcome to the intriguing world of dandruff. These tiny, irritating flakes are more than just a nuisance. They're a common occurrence that can cause significant discomfort and even embarrassment. Dandruff, the unwelcome guest that shows up uninvited, leaving traces on your clothes and creating an itch that just won't quit. It's a phenomenon that transcends age, gender, and hair type, leaving many of us scratching our heads, quite literally, in confusion. But what if we told you that this perplexing problem isn't as mysterious as it seems? That there's a world of knowledge waiting to be discovered, a world that holds the key to understanding and ultimately combating this common issue? Curious? Good. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries of dandruff and how to combat it. What if we told you, a tiny fungus could be the villain in your dandruff drama? Yes, you heard it right, the main perpetrator behind those pesky white flakes is a yeast-like fungus called Malassezia. Malassezia is a part of our scalp's ecosystem, living in harmony with us, feasting on the oils that our hair follicles secrete. But sometimes this relationship takes a sour turn. When Malassezia gets a little too comfortable, it can start to overgrow, leading to an irritated scalp and the creation of excess skin cells. Picture this, you're hosting a party, and one guest starts to overstay their welcome, causing a ruckus. That's Malassezia for you. This uninvited guest partying leads to an irritated scalp, which responds by producing more skin cells. These new skin cells push the older ones to the surface before they've had a chance to gradually dry out and shed. This rush results in clusters of dead skin cells that appear as the white flakes we know as dandruff. But why does Malassezia decide to party hard on some scalps and not others? Well, it's a bit of a mystery. Factors like stress, hormonal changes, or even a change in weather can trigger this overgrowth. Also, if you're someone with an oily scalp, you might be more prone to dandruff. The oils on your scalp are like an all-you-can-eat buffet for Malassezia, helping it to thrive and multiply. Now before you start panicking and reaching for the antifungal shampoos, remember that Malassezia is a normal part of the scalp's ecosystem. It's only when it starts to overgrow that it becomes a problem. So, the key to fighting dandruff isn't to eliminate Malassezia completely but to keep it in check. Think of it as putting a leash on that unruly party guest, ensuring they don't get out of hand. So, now that we know the culprit, let's learn how to fight back. Because understanding the problem is the first step towards finding a solution and with the right knowledge and tools, you can take control of your scalp health and wave goodbye to dandruff. Ready to say goodbye to those annoying white flakes? Let's dive into the solutions. Dandruff can be a stubborn foe, but like any formidable adversary, it can be defeated with the right arsenal at your disposal. So what's the first weapon in our dandruff fighting toolkit? Medicated shampoos. These specialized shampoos contain ingredients like ketoconazole, zinc pyrithione, or selenium sulfide, all of which work to suppress the overgrowth of yeast, a common culprit behind dandruff. Now you might be thinking, I've tried medicated shampoos and they don't work for me. If that's the case, don't lose hope. There are plenty of other remedies to explore. From the pantry of Mother Nature herself come home remedies that have stood the test of time. For instance, tea tree oil, known for its potent antifungal properties, can be a game changer in battling dandruff. Or consider apple cider vinegar, its acidity helps balance the pH of your scalp, making it harder for yeast to thrive. But the fight against dandruff isn't confined to what you put on your head. It's also about what you put in your body. Hydration, for example, plays a crucial role. Dehydration can lead to dry skin, including on the scalp, which can exacerbate dandruff. So, remember to drink plenty of water throughout the day. And then there's stress. We've all heard it a million times, stress is bad for us. But did you know it can also contribute to dandruff? It's true, stress can trigger an inflammatory response in the body, which can lead to an overproduction of skin cells on the scalp. And voila, you've got dandruff. So, finding ways to reduce stress like meditation or yoga can go a long way in your fight against dandruff. Let's not forget about good old-fashioned hygiene. Regular shampooing can help remove excess oils and skin cells, reducing the likelihood of dandruff. But be careful, over-shampooing can dry out your scalp, which can also lead to dandruff. It's all about finding the right balance. But wait, there's more to it than just treatments. Ever thought about the connection between what you eat and the health of your scalp? It's not something that often comes to mind, is it? However, your diet plays a significant role in the battle against dandruff. Let's start with the basics. Hydration is key. Drinking plenty of water helps maintain a healthy scalp and keeps dandruff at bay. 
Think about it. Your skin needs hydration to stay healthy and your scalp is no different. So gulping down those eight glasses of water a day isn't just beneficial for your overall health, but it's also a secret weapon against those pesky white flakes. Now let's talk about your food plate. Ensuring a balanced diet rich in vitamins and minerals is crucial. Vitamins B and D in particular are known to promote a healthy scalp. Foods like eggs, lean meats, and dairy products are excellent sources of these vitamins. But that's not all. Omega-3 fatty acids are another scalp savior. Found in foods like fish, walnuts, and flax seeds, these fatty acids support skin health, reducing inflammation and possibly keeping dandruff in check. And let's not forget about zinc and selenium. These trace minerals, found in whole grains, seafood, and nuts, help protect the scalp and may even slow down the growth of the fungus that often contributes to dandruff. Now, while it's important to know what to include in your diet, it's equally crucial to know what to avoid. Excessive intake of sugary and greasy foods can lead to an unhealthy scalp and exacerbate dandruff. So, while that donut might be calling your name, remember too much of a good thing could be bad for your scalp. It's fascinating, isn't it, how much of an impact our diet can have on something as seemingly unrelated as dandruff. Just another reason to consider what we put into our bodies. So, armed with this knowledge, are you ready to take on the dandruff challenge? We've journeyed through the world of dandruff, learned about its causes, and explored ways to combat it. We've unraveled the mystery behind those pesky white flakes, and discovered that the culprit could be anything from a yeast-like fungus to your very own scalp's oil production. We've also delved into the battle against dandruff, highlighting the role of shampoos with specific active ingredients and the importance of consistency in your hair care routine. Not forgetting the role of diet in controlling dandruff, we've learned that what we eat can indeed influence the health of our scalp. The journey to a dandruff-free life starts with understanding and treating it right. It's not just about looking good, but also about feeling good. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all solution, but armed with the right knowledge, you can certainly make an informed choice. Now it's your turn. Share your dandruff challenges in the comments or tag a friend who needs this breakthrough.